everyone welcome welcome to my channel z network lessons this is zubair al taf qureshi i am back with a new lesson and in uh, in the previous lesson we will we saw that how to uh, build up a cluster excel on checkpoint and in this lesson we will um, uh, i will guide you through the step by step process of how to do upgrade on the cluster excel this is also known as the transparent upgrade of your cluster excel or you can also say this as zero downtime upgrade on a cluster uh and the, the upgrade procedures will be same whether it's a cluster or uh, uh uh or a standalone but yeah in 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 uh cluster excel you have to uh, follow certain uh steps uh in order to achieve uh zero downtime right so your users should not um, uh experience any downtime when you are you are performing the upgrade so uh, uh, the checkpoint supports um um uh zero downtime upgrade and also uh, the other third party clustering products like the uh, fortigate and the um, asa and and palo alto right but the steps may be different uh in in those products so we are talking about checkpoint right now so the zero uh, during a zero downtime upgrade one cluster member remains active while the other cluster members get upgraded so the active cluster member is upgraded at last so uh you can have uh, multiple um cluster members right so it's not uh, uh, i mean hard and fast rule you should have only two you should have only three so uh, you might uh, end up having say three um uh, this uh, cluster members so what you do is you uh, uh, wait guys i have to take the pen and i will just demonstrate this okay so i have the pen right now so the thing is uh you might have um you you would have two modes in um checkpoint right you have the high availability mode wherein you have the scenario of a uh, the uh, active and a standby firewall and maybe the standby can be more than one right so in this case uh you will be connected to a switch say and then you are um, the sync ports okay will be connected to the switch and they will be part of the same vlan like that right so this is your ccp link right so something like this okay guys so what you will do is uh, uh this is part of the logical and uh, physical topology right this will be part of the same vlan and this will be your uh ccp um the thing is um the checkpoint recommends you to uh change the mode uh, of the ccp protocol to uh, broad um, broadcast from multicast so how you do that is you have to go to your um, all the uh, cluster members and type in the command cp h a config cp h a config space set underscore ccp and then the mode so by default it's multicast so you will do it as broadcast so this is recommended by your um, sorry by the uh, checkpoint to change this mode broadcast in order to save some time and uh, if you're not running multicast uh, i mean maybe you will face some issues with the um, layer to um, uh, this uh, uh, macros learning and all those stuff when the upgrade has been completed right so after that complete you can change it back to your multicast that is uh, i mean recommended by your checkpoint and um, the next thing is uh, in in this um, uh, availability high availability mode right you have, you will upgrade the both the standby so this is your active uh, this is your standby and this is also your standby so you will upgrade these two fir first and then after that at the last you are going to upgrade this uh, active member but before that you will make the standby as active and then uh, when you are active present active is as a standby you will upgrade that and again maybe switch the roles back so that is how you do in your uh, high availability mode but in case of your uh, um my, uh, this uh, load sharing mode you have all the members as active right so all the members are active so in that case what you do is you randomly select one of the member say i select this third member and i will upgrade him at the last so that is how you do it that is the difference and um, before uh, i mean proceeding for the upgrade you have to make sure that uh, 
you have attached the upgraded license to all the cluster members right and the best way is to do it when you are upgrading the manager so first you are going to upgrade the manager and then you are going to upgrade the cluster members so the steps uh, how you do it is you have to so let's uh, first of all log into the console of my um, smart manager so this is my manager right so you, i can go to the manager see this gui and admin123 is my password so i log in and here is my console i log into this also so first thing first you have to mm, go to in order to upgrade you have to go to the upgrades status in action and then you have to uh, i mean check for the uh, upgrades right if you have available so in my case i will not be having the upgrades available because this is a license uh, i mean it's 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 a trial based license so i will not be having the um options to upgrade but i have the um screenshots from my uh on my this slide so this is what you will get you will go to the status connection and here you will uh, select this from recommended to all and you will have the major versions right so you will download that on your manager or your uh, standby gateways and also you can download it on your active gateway but you will not install it right so next on the standby uh, you will go and after the um, this uh, file has been downloaded you will go and click on the upgrade right click and you will find these options and you have to click on upgrade remember you have to click on upgrade you will not do clean installation because clean installation is going to wipe everything out and do a clean installation as as a fresh box right so remember to upgrade in order to save your configs so once that upgrade is finished uh, i mean first of all it will start obviously at that time your your um, mode of the uh, cluster uh, standby will be down right now you can see in the uh, this uh, screenshot it's ready right this is when the upgrade has completed so you have to wait until the um, uh, state has changed to ready on your standby and once that is ready then you have to go to your smart management console this one click on the cluster excel properties and you have to change the mode to the latest one so i don't have the 8.30 because this is again a uh, trial evaluation right so you will have something like this so for example you have upgraded to 8.30 or 8.40 you will click that and then hit okay and then you will install the policy okay and then you will install the policy like this publish and install and you will select the cluster i mean select the cluster and you will have an option that is uh, this one the one highlighted in yellow you have to uncheck that okay this one you have to uncheck that because this uh, um just if you go through the the words it says for gateway clusters if installation on a cluster me member fails do not install on that cluster so that means if you have three members two members and one of the uh, members uh, uh the installation is not successful you will not you will roll back right you will not install on the uh, cluster other cl cluster members so i don't want that because one of my cl cluster members is on the higher version the standby has been upgraded right it is on 8.30 say and your active is dot 10 so obviously when i install this on my uh uh, uh, uh this uh, uh sta standby it will be uh, 8.30 and the active will be 8.10 say so my active will fail obviously so that is what we want that is uh, what we know right so uh you will uncheck this and then you will hit on yes and then you will see that the uh uh policy in installation on the standby will be successful and on the active will be failed okay guys so i repeated this couple of times hope you understood and next what you do is so now your standby is ready okay and your active is active standby is on the new version you have pushed the uh policies now what you need to do is you have to uh sync the um, connections table right right now it's stateless you have to sync the states state table so how you do it on the standby you go and type the command cphacu start no dr what will this do is it will fetch the connection table from the cluster member and 
it will update to itself so you can see i have the connections here now so you can see you have to type the cphacu stat to view this table so you can see here you can type the cphacu stat and you will see the connection table so this should be on your uh, standby okay so uh, and the no dr means no dynamic routing so in case you are running dynamic routing on your firewall so you don't have to specify this keyword okay you just delete and just say cphacu hacu start that will uh, replicate the connection table as well as the dynamic routing table okay so next is your cphu start you will see and if you have the connection table values up on your i mean it should be same as well uh, i mean bo on both the active and standby once that is done you will go to the active member and and forcefully uh, uh, get get him down by saying cp start okay cp stop sorry cp stop will force the uh, failover and your standby will become active and you will have zero down down because it already has the connection tables right so after that once your standby is active now you can perform the upgrade on your active member and again you have to follow all the steps so you will go to your uh, this uh, active member go to the upgrades and again do the upgrade and again you will wait for the um, uh, status to be ready once that is ready you will again go here and do 8.30 and again push the policy but this time it will be installed on both the members okay so then uh, again you will go here and uh, I don't think uh, yeah you don't need this uh, to do this but you can do it um, but this is done on the expert mode remember you don't uh, type it in the normal mode you have to go to the expert mode once that is done then you can again type the command cp start and your firewall will become the active member if prevention preemption sorry is enabled then only this will happen so guys that was it for the uh, cluster member um, zero downtime upgrade downtime upgrade but the thing is uh, i will not be able to uh, show you i mean in my lab because i am running on the evaluation version but this these are the steps you have to follow, follow in case you want to do the upgrade on a cluster member uh, in case of your standalone it's quite simple i've already um, I created a video uh, regarding that but yeah you will have a downtime for your um, what do you say the cluster member uh, for the LAN side when you are doing upgrade on the uh, standalone and while doing upgrade on the CP manager no downtime because the, uh, um, the uh, policies will already be have been pushed to the cluster members and they will be forwarding traffic but yeah during the time uh, the manager is getting upgraded graded you will not be able to push any uh, pol new policies right so yeah that was it for the cluster upgrade uh, uh, guys and uh, if you have any questions please do feel free to um, comment and I'll try to answer your questions. So thanks for watching my video and please do not forget to forget to subscribe, like and share my channel as much as possible. Thank you guys again. Bye bye. See you in my next video.